Cooper, away! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and the hearty hi yo silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. And whenever men gathered around frontier campfires, stories were told of his adventures. Strong, courageous, resourceful, and a keen judge of character, he was the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver... The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading south for the Rio Grande! Hello, Silver! Away! At one time, the ranch of the Three Pines had been noted for the great hospitality of its owner. But that time was long past, and with the flight of years... The place came to have a sinister reputation. Fear kept natives of the region from approaching its low, sprawling buildings, and strangers seemed to avoid them by instinct. Whenever there was a tragedy in the neighborhood, the influence of the ranch of the Three Pines was certain to be held at fault, and whenever men spoke of it, they did so in whispers. Always in whispers. The ranch of the Three Pines? Mister... I ain't what you'd call a timid umbry, but all the gold in Texas wouldn't get me within ten miles of there. Madre de Dios, it is bad, that place. Senor, it is the home of the evil one. I'm telling you, if ever a curse was put on anything, it's on the ranch of the Three Pines. The ranch of the Three Pines? It is evil. There's a curse on it. Don't go near it. Mother de Dios, it is haunted. Stay away from there. The evil one, stay away. Don't go near it. Mother de Dios. A season came, however, when fear of the ranch of the Three Pines was replaced by sullen anger. For weeks on end, the sun burned fiercely in a cloudless sky. Pastures failed. Creeks and water holes dried up. Cattle and sheep died by the score. And to the superstitious inhabitants of the district, the source of their misfortune was clear. Even the good padre at the mission was unable to persuade them they were wrong. And... Quiet. Juan, come here. Hey, padre. My son... What is the meaning of this? Padre, it is the rancho. The rains, she do not come. The grass is born, our flocks, they die. Nowhere is there water. The rancho has cast a spell upon the sky. Juan, I am ashamed for you. 
Si, padre. I had not thought you so ignorant. I had believed you a man of good sense, Juan. But, padre, we have... We've had droughts before. But never like this, padre. Eh? I have ridden near the rancho. Yes? I have heard things most strange. The voice of a senorita singing, padre. Laughter. I have seen lights in the what window. What is there about that? But it is well known there is no one who lived there. It might have been occupied recently. But who would dare? Not you, it is plain to see. And if someone is moved there, why have not we seen him? You had better inquire at the rancho. Oh, no, no. I do not ride there again. It is one bad place, that... It is the hacienda of El Diablo. Enough. But, Padre, Enough, I... I said. I am tired of these childish stories. Tell your companions that they are not true. That the ranch of the Three Pines has nothing to do with the drought from which we suffer. And tell them that if they doubt, I shall prove this. Oh, padre, you must not go to the ranch, oh, no. No, you must not. If you go there... I shall not go there, my son. What do you mean? You have been misled by silly tales of superstition. And the man who shall prove this for all to know is my good friend, the Lone Ranger. Grants out those great legs of yours, old fellow. We should be at the mission before night falls, Tabo. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get him up. Come on, Silver. Oh, Silver. How are Summoned to the mission by an appeal from his friend, the Padre, the famous masked rider of justice and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, arrived at their destination late in the afternoon. The Padre was quick to explain why he had asked for their help. Amigo, for many years I have fought the blindness of those of my flock who are slaves to the superstition of the ignorant. Always I have heard these stories they tell of the Ranch of the Three Pines. Always I have denied their truth. I, too, have heard these stories, Padre. Now, as you know, the drought has come. My people do not understand these things. They must have some object to blame upon which they can spend their fear and anger. And what is it you wish me to do, Padre? Once and for all, I want it proved to my flock that the Ranch of the Three Pines has no supernatural powers. Yes. And it would be well if you were to find out if the Athiander is indeed occupied. Knowing that you have no faith in these superstitions, I know that you will not fear to ride there. If you find it occupied, the people there must be warned that they are in danger, that there are impatient and ignorant ones who will hold them to account for all the misfortunes that have struck this district. Will you do this for me, my friend? Of course, amigo. Tato and I will ride at once. That is good. Here's the yes, Scout. Whatever we learn, we'll get word to you as soon as we can. Thank you, my friend. I knew that I could depend upon you. Ready, Tonto? Uh, be ready. Come on. Get him up, Scout. The trail to the ranch of the Three Pines led through a strange and barren country. It never traveled more than a hundred yards in a straight line at any time. It took the Lone Ranger and Tonto through canyons, almost as dark as if it had been night. Then across bare, windswept plateaus... Finally. There it is uh, below us, Tonto. Ah, uh, a strange looking place. No wonder there's so many stories about it. Just the look of the buildings is enough to make people think a mystery. Not right. It certainly doesn't look as though it were occupied as the Padre thought it might be. I don't see smoke or horses or any sign of movement. Ah. Uh, well, we can't tell from this distance. The only thing to do is to ride there and investigate for ourselves. I better follow this ledge to the left. I think you'll find it an easier way down. Ah. Come on, Tonto, it's just... What that? Who said that? Rangers, turn back. Where are you? Can you hear me? Well. Can you hear me, I say? I hear you. Turn back. You must not ride closer. Where voice come from? It's some trick of the rock formation, Tonto. Might come from almost anywhere. Possibly from almost any distance. The way the hills throw back the echo makes it impossible to judge. And what we do? We don't turn back, Kimosabe. We ride on. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Turn back. Turn back. This is your last warning. Whoever you are, we turn back for no one. There's trouble ahead. Perhaps, Tonto. But we can't keep our word to the Padre by returning to town. 
So we have no choice. Careful there, Tonto. The trail's treacherous. It was an old and dangerous trail that wound its way from the heights down into the broad hollow where the hacienda lay. The Lone Ranger and Tonto advanced until they reached a place where the trail, widening, formed a shelf. Then suddenly... Oh, I have you covered. Oh, 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 oh. Don't move, senor. So you're the fellow who called to us. And you are those who foolishly refused to listen. Now you will turn back or... Or what? Or it will be my duty to use the gun I have here in my hand. You don't want us to visit the hacienda there? Strangers are not welcome. No, and why not? That is our affair, senor. You will please to turn back as I have requested. You're not alone here, then. I have said enough. Do not try my patience. Lower that gun. No, I will. Very well. You... Sacre! No, no, do not kill the gun, senor. I beg of you, please. He did not mean... Julian's his name, huh? Well, I have no intention of harming him. I just shot the gun from his hand so he wouldn't be tempted to use it. No! Don't reach for it. Senor, I shall not forget this. I'd advise you not to. I, I apologize for Julian, senor. But you are trespassing. You have no right here. You're on private property. Your property? I... The property of the senorita's grandfather, senor. Julian, you should not have spoken. But, senorita... He was not to have been told. I'm sorry, Carmen. I did not think. Your grandfather is here, senorita? I... I cannot answer that. Very well. If the ranch of the Three Pines is owned by your grandfather, if you were not trespassers here yourself, then you have the right to order strangers from the place. You've been told only the truth. Then we'll turn back. Thank you, senor. You... You are a gentleman. Come, Tonto. But you... I said come. Uh, get him up, Scout. Back, Silver. Back! Adios! Why you go back? You tell Padre. We won't break our word to the Padre, Kimasabe. Then why what you... What would have been the use of forcing our way past those two... Obviously, they have something to hide. Better to find out what it is without alarming them. How will you do that? Up the trailer distance, there's a place that we can turn off without being seen. Oh. We'll turn off, find another way into the valley, and approach the hacienda from the other side. Well, that'd be a good idea. The thing they are hiding is innocent. No harm will be done. We'll keep silence. They'll have no cause to worry over the fact that strangers share their secret. Isn't that right? And there's something we must not forget. And what that? What the Padre told us. That the people of this district are blaming the ranch of the Three Pines for the drought. Oh. Them heap foolish. Of course. But feeling will rise as the drought continues, Tonto. If they're once convinced the drought will end only with the destruction of the ranch, then no one can guess what may happen. Mobs, Kimosabe, don't stop to think. Ah. Uh. See that willow, Tonto? We turn off there. What the Lone Ranger feared was destined to come about even sooner than he had imagined. However, the words of the good padre had had little effect upon his people. To them, the ranch of the Three Pines and the drought seemed but cause and effect. Wasn't it well known that the ranch was a place of evil? Wasn't the drought that destroyed their pastures and killed their herds an evil thing? The conclusion was obvious. Compadres, the rancho, she must be destroyed. <laughs> If the rancho is not destroyed, then we lose our homes, amigos. Never again will the sky serene on us. The sheep, the cow, they die. The grain does not grow. We have no money, nothing to eat, nothing for which to live. Amigos, it is for us the end. That is why I, Juan Romero, say that we must ride. We must ride to the rancho of the Three Pines. We must not be afraid, no. No, the rancho must be destroyed. I will lead you, compadres. Who is not afraid to ride with Juan Romero? Uh, buenos amigos. Then to the saddle. We ride at once. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Neither Carmen nor Julian, the two young people the Lone Ranger had met on the trail, was aware of the threat that hung over the ranch of the Three Pines. They were more concerned with personal problems and... Because of a crazy whim of this grandfather of yours, you would sacrifice me and the best years of your life. You call it a whim? Well, perhaps it is. But if so, it's a beautiful one. Ah. Well, Julian, think. Once, years and years ago, this is where my grandfather lived as a young man, with his bride. Other old men have been young once. Yes, and they've had wives, too. Oh, you do not understand. Don't you see... He was happy here. He told me of those times, of the great parties they had, of the feast that lasted for weeks, of, of the neighbors who rode for miles to attend. If the... Don Pablo was so well pleased here, why did he not stay? Why did he leave and return to Spain? Because his bride died. Her name was Carmen, too. Mm. And when she was gone, he couldn't bear it any longer. So he left, returned to Spain, but everything he saw wouldn't remind him of her. So now he's back again. Yeah. Your grandfather's worse than a woman for changing his mind. He knows he hasn't long to live, Julian. Well? And he wants to live the little of life that remains to him where he can feel close to her. Very well. Then let him get someone else to take care of him. Why does it have to be you? Because he's used to me, Julian. It is not easy for one of his age to be comfortable with strangers. And if he should leave for another 20 years? Then, then I shall remain with him. For 20 years. Oh, it's nonsense. It is my duty. You're a fool. Very well, then I am. I should leave you. Do so. I will. Good. I... No. No, I won't leave you. I think you had better. No, I'll stay. I've made up my mind. I'll stay until you've returned to your senses and have told me you'll go back to Spain. Which will be never. <sighs> Do take the horses and go. Grandfather will be waiting for me. And so will I. Poor Julian. Well, so there you are, my dear. Did you think I'd never come, Grandfather? Huh? What is that? Did you think I'd never get back? <laughs> I am afraid I had forgot you, my dear. You see, I was sitting here remembering someone else. I know. Everything. Everything here is just as it was when she left it. Yes, just as it was. Will you promise me something, child? Of course, Grandfather. Do not let it be changed until after I am gone. Do not let strangers spoil all this. I... I promise. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. You are very kind. But even then, the mob that had taken to the saddle had already covered more than half the distance to the ranch of the Three Pines. Its total destruction was the one thought and aim of every man and woman. Unknown compadres! The ranch she must be destroyed! Unknown compadres! Un! In the meantime... Masked man and Tonto rested their mounts on the crest of a hill. The situation is clear enough now, Kimasabi. Uh, Don Pablo done a great wrong to ask a girl of his granddaughter's age to leave everything attractive in the world to care for him alone. Oh, him old man. What he's done, I'm convinced he did less from selfishness than from thoughtlessness. Mm, maybe you're right. But he's a Spaniard, and a grandee at that, which means he's proud and very likely stubborn. And certainly not an easy fellow to reason with. Ah. Uh. The fact that Julian is afraid to let Don Pablo know of his presence here, although he followed Carmen all the way from Spain, is clear indication of that. Ah. But I'd like to find some way to show Don Pablo that... Tonto, there. Look there where the trail winds away from the canyon. A uh, horseman. A hundred at the very least. Ah. There's only one reason why a horseman would approach over this trail, Kimasabi. Oh, uh, they make trouble. Right. Where they are, how long should it take them to reach the hacienda? Maybe an hour. Um, maybe more. And there's no time to sit here debating plans, Tonto. We'll have to act and act fast. Uh -huh. Listen, Tonto. Find Carmen and Julian. Get them away from the ranch and keep them away for at least two hours. Uh -huh. I don't care how you find them or where you take them, but do it and don't fail. Tonto, do it. And what you do? Me? I'm calling on Don Pablo. This is the one time he'll forget his pride and listen to reason. Or he'll find himself where all the pride in the world won't save him. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Come, Silver. How
It was not long after this that Carmen stole from the house and made her way to the stables where she knew she would find Julian. Pausing just outside, she called to him in a low voice. Julian? Are you there, Julian? Carmen? But of course, who else would it be? <laughs> I see you have come to apologize for the way you have spoken. <laughs> Disgracious of you. Idiot. You're not apologizing? I, I had thought of it, but... But when you take so much for granted, I... Diablo, well, oh. yeah, what is this? You come. The Indian. The Indian we saw on the trail. You, you... Don't oh, not shoot. Don't, Julian, don't. Don't give him an excuse to fire. You are told to leave this property. Uh, then what are you... You saddle horse. You come. What is the meaning of this? How dare you give us orders? Me not talk. You come. Quick. Sacre, you cannot no. tell me. But Carmen... He, he means what he says, Julian. We, we better obey him. There, horse. You hurry. You have the advantage of us, amigo. But permit me to warn you once more. You hurry. At the first opportunity, I shall not hesitate to shoot you down. No sooner had the Lone Ranger seen Tonto safely away with his prisoners than he entered the hacienda and confronted Don Pablo. Almost an hour later... I respect you, Don Pablo. There are times when the truth is more forceful when plainly told. See, si. And no matter how important a person you may be, still you are not the center of the world. Others exist whose happiness is exactly as important to them as yours is to you. Your granddaughter, for instance. Julian, these poor people of your race riding here now will scarcely know where they'll obtain their next meal. Perhaps. You can't deny it. But if I say their happiness does not matter to me... I won't believe you. <laughs> You're very certain, senor. I told a friend of mine that you're a good man, Don Pablo. I've had no reason to change my opinion. Yet. I do not like to be forced into a decision. You hear that? See. Si. They've come. Quick, man. What's it to be? I shall do as I wish. And you wish? That is my affair, senor. I'll hold them off. Wait. Yes? Give me your arm. I am the master here. It is not proper for the oaks to receive guests while seated. Here. Thank you. They're in a vicious mood, Don Pablo. Help me to the door. You mean to face them? I am Rodriguez. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to question your courage, sir. Come. Not yes. Don Pablo, the door is thick and it's heavily barred. Maybe that those fellows outside cannot be talked to. We can open the door and risk it. We'll leave it closed and fight them off. It's for you to say. You are not afraid, senor? Not for myself, sir. Only for you. Then open it. It was almost nightfall when three mounted figures rode toward the ranch of the Three Pines. They rode slowly, one slightly behind his companions. When suddenly the foremost figure cried out, Caramba! Oh, 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 oh. What is it? There, Carmen, before the Atienda, those horses. And we left Don Pablo alone. You, you think? That he's in great trouble. Oh. You not worry. You have tricked us. Come, Carmen. If he wants to shoot us, let him. Get up. Get, get, get him up. Get up. Perhaps she has been murdered. No. Oh, no. But I shall pay them back. Get up. Get up. Get up. Rain in, Julian. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Listen. They, they've taken over the hacienda. I am going in there. Then I shall go with you. You stay here. You cannot make me stay behind. I, I will not leave you. They'll run if I give you the word. Yes, yes. The devils... Oh, be careful. I shall shoot them down, I tell you. You are most welcome, eh? Huh? Here is good wine, much food. It is yours for the taking, eh? Huh? Oh. Hey, out! Out with you before I... Keep... You! These men are not Don Pablo's enemies. They're here as his friends. You doubt it, ask him. But... But what? <laughs> it is so, Julian. Grandfather. You must treat my guests with respect. It is not fitting that you should make them appear unwelcome. The Senor Rodriguez is un great hombre. Look, he has given us much of food to take home to our families. 
Our little ones, eh? Three years give all the food which I can carry. <laughs> <laughs> You must have lost your mind. You you said you swore. <laughs> One moment, child. Pardon me. Amigos, my house is your house. Your pleasure is my pleasure. Do not let us interrupt you. Continue, please. I don't understand. My child, I have learned much today from the senior of the mask. You, Julian. See, si. the senior of the mask has told me of you. Perhaps you should not have followed my granddaughter here. But I wait. But you are here, and uh, <laughs> I am not displeased. Gracias. Today, my children, I have learned that it is not well for one to bury himself. Nor is it well for an old man to ask that sacrifice of young people. I did not regret it, Grandfather. I, I did not blame you. Not you, perhaps. But she did. She? That other Carmen, my dear. My Carmen. Look. There is her picture there on the wall. She frowned at me. And I did not know why. But the senior of the mask showed me. It was because she had loved life. And I had chosen to turn my back upon it. Grandfather. But now my house is full of friends. And she smiles. And I am happy once more. And though I am old. And old men are men of feeble memories. I shall never forget that I owe this thing to the senior of the mask. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.